LED street lighting. For those who don't know LED, it means light emitting diode. Doesn't that make things clearer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got a whole lot of little bulbs. And it's extremely cost efficient. Yeah. So the, the uh, point is, for me, it's $245,000, and it will be added to your tax bill, basically. It's uh, seven cents, maybe seven cents per thousand on the yeah. tax rate. Yeah. It's an article that stands on its own. It doesn't have any funding from any other source. It's like either you want to do it or you don't, and if you do, you want to pay for it as well. Mr. LeBranch. I agree with you 100%. This is the type, I, I watched the explanation when the salespeople came in to the select board, and it's, it's going to pay for itself after a while, after mm -hmm. a few years. It, and, and the light that comes out, a lot of interesting things that are going on here. One was, I just quickly want to point out, that the light is focused down, okay, whereas the, the light bulbs we have now, you end up with all kinds of light pollution but you don't have that with these lights. I think that I'm an advocate of if the voters want to vote for something, they'll vote for it. In this case, I think that it's well worded. It, um, if anybody watched the selectmen's meeting, they'd realize that this is, uh, it's gonna value added to the town of Hampton itself. Um, and so mm. I would be comfortable on making a motion to, uh, to recommend this one tonight if the others are. All right, motion by Mr. LeBrant, seconded by Mr. Warburg. <laughs> I have a discussion. Mm -hmm. Further discussion, <laughs> which hopefully is not redundant, Mr. Frank. Oh, it's not redundant. <laughs> That's self-judging. Uh, the cost, <laughs> I'm just curious, it's 245, 241. <coughs> right. We have an anticipated rebate, anticipated rebate from Unitel of 122, 120, which is virtually about half or 3.5 cents. What's going to happen to the rebate? It also is a meaningless statement. <laughs> what's going to happen to the rebate? What do you mean, what's going to happen to it? Does it go back into the coffers or will it, does it get disseminated to the taxpayer? I don't know the particulars of the rebate, I and mean, it's only an expected rebate, and one article is not dependent upon its existence at all. I understand that. So I ignore that line entirely. Other <laughs> voters may choose to think that's a, that's a sweetheart deal, but it's just, you know, someone's expectation. Okay. It's not any kind of assurance at all. I understand that. So uh, maybe I didn't answer your question the way you wanted me to, but that's my answer to your question. Uh -huh. Any other thoughts on this? Mr. Morrow. I have a question in reference to, we have 872 existing lights, right? How much do we pay per year for the current lights so we can see a matter of what's our savings? And how long is it going to take over? How you think, well, it's going to take years. Is that five years or is that 25 years? The question is, and I think they should easily be able to get the answer to it, <coughs> we're paying X amount of dollars this year because we have 872 and one well, one light uses this much electricity and how much does it cost? It's not a big deal. Just add a little bit of clarity. If it turns out to be we get the payback in five years and they have the lights, and I definitely like the aspect of not polluting in reference to what uh, the gentleman on my right said. I, I kind of in favor of it big time, but I would like to know the answer to that. And if other people did, it would may help maybe help sell it big time when they see that amount. You'd have to rewrite the warrant a little bit. We can't do that. I know that. But maybe the people who come to present it to us could add a little wording to it. Thank you, David. Thank you. Ms. Regina. May I suggest that we put this off and have maybe Public Works Director or Deputy Director supply the Budget Committee with what the Board of Selectmen received when we discussed this, which sort of breaks out, talks about the rebate, you know, a what yes. the savings is potentially going to be. Yes, you may. And yeah, I believe you have. Mr. LeBranch. Okay, thank you. I guess the question that David raises to me is that, as it is presently, the town pays so much, eight times 872, and I, I don't, I'm not positive, but I think it's somewhere in the vicinity of perhaps $275 um, per light. Well, let's and be certain on it, Steve. Well, well, no, 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 I think no. Regina's but suggestion makes perfect sense. No, the question, the question I have, I'm not going to be redundant here. As it is right now, we don't own the lights that are up there. We are basically renting them. We pay a fee to have them up right. there. Once we buy these, the question I have is that once we buy these LEDs, do we own them? Because, because yeah. down, 
Did I just hear a yes? Yeah, I thought that was in that presentation. Yeah. Okay, so well that's the, the question lights. I have. If you we buy, buy the them, lights. we own them. Right. So at that point, instead of paying Unitil a lot of money per poll yeah. per month, then we will be paying for the electricity, obviously. Right. I we'll think, I think your, your, is that your, your, your points of advocacy are correct as far as I know. I also believe that Regina's suggestion that we throw more light on this one article <laughs> uh, before voting is probably a good idea. Thank you. And so uh, let's not vote on it tonight, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Next one.